The IFP is expected to elect its new leadership tonight. Earlier, outgoing IFP President Nkosi Mangosutu Butelezi said his retirement will remain haunted by lack of reconciliation between the IFP and the ANC. In a nearly three-hour speech, Butelezi paid tribute to former President Nelson Mandela for his leadership role in South Africa. He also weighed in on the land issue, including the Ingonyama Trust. Our reporter Simperia Makanya joins us now from Ulundi. Good evening, Simperia. Bring us up to speed on the latest from Ulundi. Good evening to you, Mahendra. Good evening to the viewers at home. Well, certainly it's been quite a busy day here in Ulundi uh, at, at the IFP's elective conference. A short while ago, delegates have just reconvened after uh, taking part in various commissions. But with me, I've got the national spokesperson of the IFP, Mr. Mkulia Gwashlegwa, who's going to tell us what is going to be happening shortly inside this venue. Mr. Shlegwa, thank you very much for, sure. for, for your time. What is going to happen now? Well, the commissions are going to um, now give reports uh, back to plenary and those reports will then be submitted to the resolutions committee for finalization and for presentation then to plenary again tomorrow uh, for adoption. So it is quite indeed a very thorough process um, which will be undertaken. Once these reports have been tabled um, from now, um, we then kick off with the election process um, which will firstly do with the 34 members of the National Council. So National Council is composed of 100 members, but there is a section of 34 which must be elected directly and by the National General Conference. The others, of course, would include your um, Women's Brigade and Youth Brigade. Then from there we will then be electing the um, top seven of the party and so <clears throat> we are now about actually get into um, election mode. And then from there, of course, tomorrow resolutions will be presented and then from there the pre newly elected president will then address the conference um, tomorrow. So, so far as a party we are satisfied that all processes are consistent with the constitution of the IFP. We have followed all due process and we have not experienced any hindrance um, from when we started yesterday morning at 8 o'clock with registration and the um, opening of the conference last night. The National Council had its meeting which is also a constitutional prerequisite. So we are very happy at the fact that we have been able to hold a legitimate conference, we have been able to follow through on all the issues because you will recall that the postponement arose out of bogus branches and as a party we did not want to have the collective interests of this um, conference and its outcomes challenge. So the conference has gone very well and the presidential address today of course went at length. Principal Telezi had did very well to take us through the genesis and the history of the IFP and so he leaves it on a strong footing and of course as you heard the party also paying tribute to him because we thank him for his leadership, we thank him for his guidance and we are quite happy that he will be available post this conference to continue being the um, sounding board and to also give us the necessary guidance um, as and when things arise. So from the perspective of the party and the co committee responsible for the uh, conference, the National Council, we can assure South Africans that we are holding this conference successfully and within the expectations um, of the constitution of the AFP. When are we going to uh, expect the release of the uh, election results? Well, what we'll, as I'm saying, what we'll do, we're first going to start with the National council component and so once we have finalized that because it can tend to be a long and tedious process. Districts have in fact made their nominations and made their submissions and so on. But in the event that uh, the election is drawn out, we will then take a decision at that point as to when uh, we, we, we know we'll, how we proceed. But what is clear now, of course, is that once we finish with the report, which is about to kick off any moment now, the next item will be um, elections. And so, well, we don't, we're not going to be sleeping really. And um, we are just in conference mode and we will see how far we can go and conference of course is still designated to sit tomorrow so we do not want to rush process we do want to give uh, the space and time to that uh, long process of national council Mr. Kiyakwa, due to time constraints, we'll have to leave it there for now. Thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure. Right, thank you very much. There was uh, IFP National Spokesperson, Mr. Mkulego Kiyakwa, giving us an, an update about what is expected to happen uh, going forward. Uh, he's saying that the conference finishes tomorrow, but that is where we'll have to leave it there for today. Which, uh, we, it's, it's back to Johannesburg. Thank you very much indeed, Simpira. That was our reporter, Simpira Makanya. Well,